Well, the sunset looked a lot normal today. Yesterday was very yellow outside, but we finally got a lot less uh, severe weather warnings. Yeah, and compared to uh, this time of yesterday, we were seeing the watches. You mentioned the warnings and even flash flood warning closer to the tri-state. Not the case tonight, although we do have some rain showers out there. Let's first take a look at the conditions out on the old Doppler radar. You see some rain showers making their way uh, through some parts of mid-Michigan, through Jackson County. Yeah, they've already made their way through Lenaway County at this hour, making their way north. But the most of us are dry. Most of us just seeing the slight chance of a rain shower overnight tonight into the daytime tomorrow as well. Temperature wise will be holding steady once again in the 80s. Speaking of temperatures, let's take a look at the old Almanac. 81 degrees in the capital city, 83 degrees in Jackson. The temperatures on the low side. Middle 60s, pretty close to normal for this time of the year. The precipitation, not in the capital city, but the further south you go, the more rain showers you did see. A tenth of an inch recorded in Jackson will continue to update that number throughout the overnight, because I'm sure it will be a little bit more than what you're seeing on the screen. The monthly totals, you see those on the screen, just over five inches of rain uh, in Lansing and under about three and three quarters of an inch in Jackson. So it kind of varies depending on where you are for the month of June. Speaking of, let's take a look at some of the numbers. Uh, at least this time of the year, you should be seeing uh, anywhere from about, I would say, 15 uh, inches of rain, maybe 15.02 inches of rain for this time of the year. And we're not even done with the month of June here in 2013, so well above normal for this time of the year. And take a look over the past couple of years. Last year, 13 inches. The year previous, 2011, just over 20 inches. And just under 14 inches, so kind of a pattern, interesting enough. We'll continue to watch for more chance of rain showers over the next three days. And even as we look to June, or even into July, rather, we'll see those numbers jump up here in 2013. Let's take a look at the 24 hour rainfall totals across mid Michigan. Uh, there are some rainfall totals up to the north that were anywhere from about half an inch to an inch, but the majority of the rain that fell was down closer to the tri state where they saw as much as two and a half to three inches of rain in some places and make sure that uh, if you have rain or flooding in your area, hey, take some pictures, send them on in to us. You can send them to I contribute at Fox 47 news.com. We'll put those on air just to get a feel for what others may be seeing compared to where you may be here in mid Michigan. Take a look at the satellite and radar combination just over the past three hours. Those rain showers making their way through Jackson, Ann Arbor, and they're starting to fizzle out as well. That low pressure center will eventually make its way closer and give us more chance of rain throughout the daytime uh, tomorrow as well. Satellite and radar combination across the region. Cold front will eventually make its way in, and as it does, not only bringing the chance of rain, but cooler temperatures as we look closer to the weekend. Highs will only be up into the middle and upper 70s. And most of us will be seeing chance of rain showers through the weekend as well. Take a look at the next 48 hours on the future track. Start out Thursday morning. OK, partly cloudy skies uh, as we look to the daytime and then the afternoon hours scatter rain showers late in the day. 5 p.m. Hope you have your umbrella handy and you may need it going into the daytime Friday as well. May wake up partly cloudy, but the chance of rain showers are still with us as we transition into the evening. The forecast for tonight, we're going to call for 68 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a scattered shower tapering off a light and variable wind tonight. The daytime tomorrow, west wind 3 to 8, 84 degrees for a temperature chance of showers and thunderstorms. Yet again, that heat's going to add to any uh, thunderstorm development that we may have. Next seven days, 76 degrees. Start out the weekend on Saturday, 77 on Sunday. Isolated chance of rain showers. Look at those overnight lows. They'll be back in the 50s, but may not mean you need to open your windows because those chance of rain showers will continue into next week. Make sure you prepare with the umbrella over the next seven days. And good idea, don't get the car washed just yet. You may <laughs> actually get a free one coming up the daytime tomorrow. All right, thanks, David.